This resource looks at internet etiquette, or netiquette. We define the term. We consider why proper etiquette is important. We look at the basics of netiquette. Special attention is paid to the first time online student. Next, we present the netiquette for online message boards. We finish with an overall summary of netiquette and important things for you to remember. The online world is truly a new plane of existence. Whether you go to a social media site like Facebook or Twitter, or you log into a message board for a class at Empire State, you enter a new realm with its own culture. As with any culture, the online world has its own expectations of what constitutes proper behavior. Much as a Victorian age man would never think of wearing a hat indoors or in the presence of a lady, there are behaviors that are unconscionable online. For example, it is poor form to ever write in all capital letters. Netiquette is the catch-all phrase for those acceptable behaviors. It is the rules for how to be a good online citizen. Netiquette helps you avoid embarrassing mistakes while in the online world. But why is that so important? As a student at Empire State College, a large portion of your studies will be online classes. You will be responsible for engaging in online discussions through message boards, as well as submitting assignments online. Netiquette will help you immerse yourself fully into your learning. It will help shape your online interactions, both with your instructor and other students. When interacting with other students, you will invariably find yourself disagreeing with statements made. Netiquette also helps minimize so-called flame wars, which are direct personal attacks made online. By keeping the tenets of netiquette in mind, you can find ways to disagree online without resorting to personal attacks. It is a sign of a cultured, sophisticated mind to be able to respond to criticism appropriately and maturely. And that is another reason netiquette is important. You want to present yourself in the best light possible. You are at Empire State to better yourself and your position in life. Part of doing so means behaving in a more refined manner. So how does this netiquette work, anyway? Virginia Shea identifies 10 core rules of netiquette in her book, oddly enough titled, Netiquette. Some of the core rules really do not apply to your situation at Empire State, as they focus more on network administrators and more general online activity. We focus our attention on rules that apply to the online classroom setting. First, you need to remember that there is a real person behind the words on the screen. The person who you argue with and rip apart online is a real person with real feelings. They worked hard, hopefully, on their post, so you should treat them accordingly. Next, you need to be real. This means to act online the same way you would if you were having the conversation face to face. This will impact your word choice and the tone of your writing. Sarcasm does not translate well online. Nor can your audience read any body language without seeing your actual body, so your message may not be clear. You need to respect bandwidth. This means to take care about repeat postings, but also not to waste your reader's time. Be concise and post very thoughtfully. You also want to make yourself look good. It is likely that the only contact you will have with classmates or the teacher is what you post online. Make sure you check your facts, spelling, and grammar. The last major rule is to increase the peace. You will not always agree with everything posted, and you can say so, but do it respectfully. Don't use all capital letters. That is the online equivalent of shouting. Don't let yourself get drawn into protracted arguments. Do your best to keep the online environment professional and pleasant. Taking an online course for the first time is a little different. You are responsible for keeping yourself on pace to complete the work on time. You do not physically see the instructor or your classmates. For some students, this leads to disconnect. 
you need to avoid this feeling to be truly successful. Take ownership of, and pride in, your work. Try to keep your schoolwork near the top of your priority list. Although you may not physically meet your instructor, reach out to them. Email them directly early in the semester. Describe what background you have in the subject matter, if any. Explain what concerns you may have. Doing so will help the teacher understand your motives and how they can best help you learn. However, don't be offended if the instructor asks you to post any questions you may have on the discussion board. If one student in a class asks a question, it is likely that multiple other people in the class have the exact same question. By posting the question on the discussion board, the instructor can answer the question one time for the benefit of the entire class, rather than answering the same question many times for individual students. Or perhaps the instructor will open the question up to the class for other students to answer. This helps the learning of both parties. The asker gets their question answered, and the answerer reinforces their learning. You also want to make sure you know how to get help if you need it. Should you email the instructor? Is there a class assistant to help? Should you seek tutoring through the Office of Learning Support? How do these message boards work, anyway? You will be required to make a certain number of original posts on topics that you study. You will also have to comment on posts made by the other students in the study. However, try to do more than the minimum. When you respond to a post, go more in depth than just saying, I agree, or I disagree. Take the original post and add more information. If you agree, find additional support for the statement and include that in your response. If you disagree, provide reasons why you disagree. Be careful with your tone. You want to disagree without descending into flaming the author. You can attack the statement without attacking the author. Write your original post carefully and thoughtfully. Remember that posts are designed to be quick reads, so keep them short and to the point. Make your statement and provide your support and analysis, but you do not need to go into great depth. Before actually posting your post, Make sure you edit carefully. Double check your facts. Watch for spelling or gross grammatical errors. I suggest writing the post in Word or some other word processing program first. That way you can run it through a spell and grammar checker. Then copy and paste the text to the post. The online world can seem very sterile and impersonal. Remember that you are dealing with real people when navigating the internet or working in an online course, even if you cannot see them. Think about how you would interact with them if you were talking to them in person. You should write online in a similar fashion. The only difference is that online, the audience cannot read your body language or pick up sarcasm, so choose your words and the tone of your writing very carefully. You have decided to attend Empire State to improve yourself, your job prospects, and your lot in life. Commit yourself to your work accordingly. Similarly, make sure you represent yourself well. Watch your spelling and grammar. Act like an educated, thoughtful adult. Anything you post online never disappears. Even if you delete a post, there are records of it. So be very careful and think before you click.